Floss Tube. Greetings. I'm Laura. I'm Joe. Welcome to the Slovak Farm. The crazy farm. And how this week? This day. That's not. So we're going to reboot. No. So people are just going to have a visual experience of our day. That is a visual representation of the day today. I, you want a visual representation of my day? Hmm. Oh. Damn it! I had a I had a very annoying thing happen today. Joe had to go on site, and the only location the company they knew about was in Lorraine, which is about an hour from my job. Coachy passing our house, like my job is. He's about an hour west of his job. Yeah, so I actually went by the house. I actually went down 57. Okay. Because the, 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 the other place is actually located just behind the turnpike. Okay. Going down that road. You make a left and boom, you there. But he got there and found out. No, I got there and there was a concrete divider that's across their uh, main gate. There was a concrete divider barricading it saying use wood gate. I'm like, Fuck is the wood gate. Okay. Bring, bring, bring. Hey, what's up? Whoa, whoa. What are you doing there? That place is closed. You're supposed to go to Canton. And now, did you call the shop or did you call the company? I called them first. The company. Called the company. And they told me, oh, you're not supposed to be there. You're supposed to be over. I'm like, what? Okay, away I go. Called up the shop, let them know what's going on. They're like, whatever, you gotta do it. I left the shop at 10 of 8. I got to where I was supposed to be at 10.40. Canton's about how far? It's an hour south of my job. And I passed the exit you take to get back to my job on the way there. So Joe did a lot of driving today. And then I had to take the hour drive back to the shop and then a 45 minute bet. So let me see, that is what? 8, 2, 10, 3, 10, 4, 4, 4, four hours and 40 minutes driving a car today. Hun, I drove enough to go to Cincinnati. You drove to see Jason. Actually, it would have been shorter to get to Jason's. And probably less annoying. Probably. I had to go through the orange cone jungle. Yeah, good times. Be very, very quiet. It's construction season. Ohio has two seasons, winter and construction season. And they overlap. Yeah, well, somewhat. Well, the barriers over. They'll have like the road cordoned off so you can only use two or three lanes. And then it's winter, so, but they don't. But it's like, oh, well, we're not done. So now it's just a two lane road until um, a year or two from now. Well, a lot of times when they're doing construction, they have to put new asphalt down. And the asphalt closed, plants close down in November, and they don't reopen until April. Actually, the place I'm thinking about, 271, they've only. Just recently started to actually put down asphalt. The last two years has been them dip, digging up, flattening, and extending the ground itself because they're extending the crap out of it. So they have been working on it for over two years now, just digging. They have been. Dig a tunnel, dig a dig a tunnel. I'm tired, I'm goofy. Have fun. So it's Tuesday. How was Tuesday? It was there. It was there. Of course it was there. If it was here, I'd be having little kids running around going, Aah! I'd be like, why'd you bring your work home with you? And now the police coming. <sighs> you love me. I do. I do. Oh, and then also didn't you, also the fact that that place 
if you went in there, you probably you or your mother went in there, you would probably go into anaphylactic shock. You can go like this and pinch the dust up. He had to bring me. You know those boots that go up just below your kneecap for uh, like going out and fishing and stuff like that? Waiters? Yeah, they bought me a pair. Because I had to use them to get through the mud in order to get to where one of the gauges was outside. Okay. That was my day. And the dust was actually metal fragments. Not really. And there were shards of metal in the mud. I had to watch where I stepped. I had a day, didn't I? Place sounds blessing. It's also bigger than Wellington. Classy. With tra with tra active trains. Okay, then. <laughs> they made steel. Okay. You can't tell me anything. What's up? Are you done talking now? No. It's kind of the point of the video. But I'm done right now about that subject. Go ahead. I'll read the first comment just so I keep talking. Okay, so on to comments. Glenna, her worst frogging experience, she ended up cutting a new piece of fabric and restarting a pattern for Stitch Mania... Stitch 9 challenge. Cut off the fabric with frog grew on it. I was not a virtual stitcher for that conversation, Glenna. Glenna's uh, one of the stitchers that stitches on virtual stitchers. I'm pretty sure it's the same Glenna. That's a very uncommon name. And the way she displays her stitching, she doesn't FFO it. She has like a, a clothesline <laughs> on her wall. And she just hangs stuff on there with clothes line, with uh, clothes pins. <laughs> I'm like, I like that solution. You want to read? Um, you want to click read more? No, because there isn't more. Uh huh. Andrea. Hey. Happy birthday. Her birthday was yesterday. Oh, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday yes, to sir. you. Saturday. Happy birthday, dear Saturday. Andrea. Saturday. Happy birthday to you. Be related. Okay, the worst frog experience I had wasn't the number of stitches, it was the amount of time on one piece I ended up having to frog. I worked on a stitch that was better suited for 32 count, but I did it on 16. The problem was it had a lot of quarter stitches, which kept getting me in trouble. After the fifth frogging experience, I gave up, restarted on 14 count, and didn't do any of the quarter stitches at all. It was the Friends Are the Garden of Life stitch that she did for her. I should have gotten it out and shown you guys. Take a picture of it and add it in right here. Yes. Lynn commented on the drama. No further comments will be made on group drama. Um, she has frog. I have frogged about 50 stitches, so now she fudges it. That's what I do. That's what I do. I think she did this on purpose. Do you want me to read it? No, I just think it's funny. Heather. Hi, Heather! Hi! Heather was very bummed out the week we did the video and she didn't comment in time and we did not say hi to her. She was very bummed out. Need to put a little uh, Is your uh, phone in airplane mode? Yes. Oh, welcome back to the subscriber thingy. After this? Oh, yeah, we'll get to that. Okay, Heather! Hi, you two. Aw, Joe. I felt bad for your sad face about not going to fun night. Because it was really fun. Why do you think I'm doing this? Going. Your cat whip progress, I didn't say it was a problem. And if you try to stop going, I'm putting you in the back of my van and dropping you off. Your whip progress looks great. Laura, I love your historical neighborhood mania piece and can't wait to see it finished. The biggest piece I frog was actually on purpose. My mother-in-law was gifted a I love my grandchildren piece 
Before I even met my husband, it was the names of her grandchildren stitched in the margins, but obviously more were born since the piece had been completed. Plus, a name was misspelled. It's not a common name. With her permission, I took the piece off her wall, frogged the misspelling, as well as a couple of names to center the additional names, and basically brought it up to date. I also stitched a I Love You Great Grandchildren companion piece based on the pattern, and stitched all the names available along with and more to come to cover my bases. Uh, face. She's gone now, but her oldest daughter took both the pieces to ensure they stayed in the family. She had seven kids, 26 grandkids, and I think we're up to about 30 grand grandkids now. Wow. That's a lot of kids. That's a big family. That's a big family. That's a big family. So, ah! in your project, I went to bed last night and told Stephanie, find me some... Ah! <laughs> Pam and Steph are taking over the video! Can you tell what I was watching before we start filming? Thus concludes comment section. I close the computer. I need to open that again. Welcome back to all of our subscribers. <laughs> Greetings to all of our aunts and people who are just recently visiting us. New subscribe buttons down there. Yeah. Visitors. Okay, the subscribe button down there. Bell notification button's down there. We're awesome. You'll find out if you watch till the end. Then you hit that button. You want more of us? Yep. She does it better. I do it weird. There's cat, too. Uh, da, da, da. We, we, we have our little demon. That would be the comment section of our video. We're going to pause. I'm going to open the computer up again and um, not make it talk to me. <laughs> we'll be right back. Bye! Whips. <laughs> no finishes. Not a lot of work done, but a little bit. Why don't we have a lot of work done, Joe? I'm lazy. Really Friendly Cats by Kit and Bixie. What? Nothing. I get some of the letters done. Got some actual complete. There's an H and an O now. Yay! Doesn't look like, um... Higher, like... Uniform? Sand script on a stone because half of it's rubbed away? That's the best I could come up with right off the top, man. Okay. So, since I failed miserably at we're, we, Letters of Fortune and Suck at Hangman, I went back to my morning stitching and don't need to count letters anymore. Let's not talk about it. I suck. I went back to Design Worst Life Moments in the morning. <clears throat> Um, before kiddos at work and while the kiddos are napping and, well, yeah, I don't work out too well because, you know, we have a zoo now at my daycare. I got some more done on the big flower. Sorry, there's a thread hanging. It's getting there. It'll get there someday. I may focus on this. I hope you didn't hear that. Excuse me. That felt awful. Hope to get some. Pro I'll probably focus on this once mania is over. I'm over mania. Let's just be real. I'm over mania. I'm glad I didn't go with a new start every day for mania. I don't think I'd let you because I have to live with you. So. Here we are. Mania. And you see it all. No, scoot that way. Go that way. Here we are, Mania. Um. I think I showed you guys the gazebo. 
I was wrong last week. Monday last Monday was like... I was wrong last week. I was supposed to switch on the library all day Sunday and then switch on Monday. I don't know. Apparently I don't know how to count. I wrote it all down after I realized I was wrong. Stop being so negative on yourself. So there's the gazebo. This I worked on. Whatever. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? No. Thursday, Friday? At some point on Friday, because I was stitching on this at stitch night. My pony is right in front of me if I picked it up. Okay, so. The dress. The dress shop was Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Which is just going to be a general clothing store. And then the cafe, which will become the Dairy Delight, was Sunday, today, and then tomorrow. And then we switch again. And next week we won't be able to hold the whole thing into the frame. Uh, I have a little weird question. What? Since each house is its own individual pattern is the finish for your uh, six room stash a house or the whole damn thing I could do it either way um, I could do it either way I could finish a house and count the. Di I could finish each section and count each section or I could wait until I have the whole thing finished and count it all as one giant credit and have Stephanie figure out what the credit would be for that. I like Stephanie. I may not do that. <laughs> Her credit might be a recommendation of where what psychiatric... Um, she's going to have to consult, I'm going to have to consult with her on credit anyways, because you get extra credit for conversions. I'm taking the extra conversion credit because there is nothing on this that is in this called for threads. And that's the truth. Um, as far as preview pictures go for it, they're in the bag. Um, I'm not pulling them out for it. Sorry. Um, when I get done with Mania and I go to working on them individually, I'll preview them as I work on them. But also, as far as conversions go, I linked a blo blogger. I think it's blogger. That's powered by Google. Blog um, with the Slovak Farm um, for finishes, which will include the conversions and stuff. Apparently, I'm seated. <laughs> Apparently, I need birth. You know, that's embarrassing. No. That's normal. I will, um, blog the, blog the finishes. Right now, that's about all I have planned to do with the blog. Should I decide something different? Your people will be the first to know. Your people will be the second to know. Because it'll all know first. <laughs> That's whips for the week. Because I'm just stitching on one thing. One thing. And he's barely stitching. Oh! Yeah! So, stitch night was Friday. So I picked up my... Glitter House, Glitter Village House 7, I think we have two more to go. Don't want to stitch them, but I'm buying them. And then I won Gentle Arts Purple Iris Floss. Monica and I both fought over it. If it would have been glittery, we would have fought over it. And I wasn't there with a the camera. I would have put that on the channel. 
I already know what the title of it would be. So you know the Facebook meme that's got two chicks? It's like a black and white, and they're in bikinis. And they've got these really weird hats on. One's got a polka dot bikini, one looks like a pleather bikini, and they've got the really weird hats on, and they're opening a bottle with their teeth, and it's captioned, yes, we are aware of how no obnoxious we are when we're together. No, we don't care. That's me, Monica. <laughs> <laughs> We're like saying things at the same time Friday night. We're something. I'm closing my eyes so I can't see. I forgot these came in on Friday. No. God, they came in like they came, I think it was like Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And I forgot. And I didn't cover the name. See the variation in that? Variation in that? It's got some variation. Some very nice variation. And that's actually a good representation of the color. So what you got, homie? Violets? It is. So lovely purple. Oh my god, it's actually called the right color! Ah! The equivalent would be 553. But it is variegated, so that'll make a nice flower color. All of my Victorian mottos are currently in bags over next to the couch. Over next to the couch, somewhere over there. Um, for my converting of um, Main Street because I am just pulling stuff out of the Victorian Mottos pile. Because I have enough of them. So. This is not really variegated. This is not really variegated, but it's still a nice color. It's got a little bit of tonal variegation. Cotton candy. It's a solid guess, because I would have guessed that too. Perky Pink Petal. DMC 605. Another really nice flower color. That sounds like a ra ra wrapper pasty design. Another one that's pretty solid. But it's okay. I don't mind that some of these are kind of solid. I mean, for what we pay for 20 yards, I ain't complaining. It's a nice aqua. Aqua. Uh, aquamarine. Aqua lace trim. I think this is the name of the jewel I was thinking of. You are thinking of aquamarine. DMC 992. <laughs> This red is like red, red. It's red. That is not a good representation of it. I'm not going to get a good representation of it because it's, it's, it is that bright red, red. Well, that's actually pretty good back here. It's my people. <laughs> Apologies. The demon. Take that, am I gonna guess? He does not look pleased. Gotta guess? Um, I had two of them. Little Red Riding Hood. And, uh, Ruby Slippers. Ruby Slippers would be an amazing name for this because that is what it looks like. It's called Glory Rose. This BMC is 321. Have you started the rose yet for uh, Bell? I have not. Um, hint, hint, nudge, nudge. 
I have um, a couple of reds that I want to use for the... I was just suggesting. This is a good contender for another... Of your 16 bell patterns? This guy knows I'm obsessed with bell. Okay. This one is a nice yellow, and it's actually, it's got some variegation in it. It does. It's got some nice tonal variegations. I like tonal variegations, not... Okay, after some extremely frustrating technical difficulties, we're back. Tonal variegations! Yellow. Because I don't know where it cut off at. I like, I like, like, not drastic. I don't want it to look like a freaking flag in one paper. And Sunny Day. No. Although that would be a good name. It is called New Marmalade. What the frick is a marmalade? Marmalade is a type of jelly. Type of jam. And last but not least, a green. I am green. With some nice tonal variegations. It's not as drastic as it's showing up in camera. It's a little bit more subtle. Uh, Neon Disco? Not even close. Green Chili Peppers. Still looks like a highlighter. I'm not a fan of weird greens. I don't know why. I think it's my mom's fault. Okay. Stuff those back in the bag. Sign mine. Something has offended. The dog is in there with the liner. And then I also got paper pumpkin. Today. My paper pumpkin kit. If you're like, ooh, handmade cards are cool, but I don't want to buy all the crap to handmade cards, Paper Pumpkin's the way to go. That's it for haul. All that. For that. Love you. Story of my life. Plans. I go to a dentist on Thursday so my teeth stop trying to kill me. Thank God. It's been a few weeks of me being a very grouchy guest. Considering how much I like dentists and the fact that I'm look actually looking forward to seeing one, I should tell you how bad it is. No, not that long. Stitching plans? Cats. Cats. Mania? Mania. So today and tomorrow, I will continue to work on the cafe. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, our flower shop. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, we go into the post office. Um, Wednesday, there's a chance I'm going to just stitching after work. One of the foster brewers that I interact with on Facebook is in town on business this week. It's going to be at just stitching until she closes at 5, so I may go over there for a little bit and say hello and finally get to meet him. If a good chance. Got work to do. You're going to get a chance on go burn your work. Announcements. May I start with my, uh, start my, my little spiel to lead into it? I have a lovely wife who normally is like, she's either backing away from the ledge or a little light, little switch clicks. She goes all the way up, gets a power ring from Sonic the Hedgehog, and just goes for it. I'm planning a retreat. I 
have gone off the list. But while it's going to be just a few of our friends meeting up, we can't use our original location because it can't support how many people want. Tell the story. Originally, there's a long story. No, just the part where you mentioned it and all the people bombarded you. Originally, we were going to just have our little group of horsemen, horsewomen of the apocalypse. Meet up next uh, spring, summer, fall-ish. Because none of us were going to make it to the cross-stitch retreat in Reno. Because the person that plans the cross-stitch retreat we normally go to decided Reno was a great idea. Um, Other drama happened. And I decided... It is what it is. I'm planning a retreat. It will become an annual thing. Um, We're not moving. The retreat will not move. It may... If it moves, it's because we moved. Far. Let me preface... Let, let, let me asterisk that. The hotel that we are about 99%... Oh, about 90% going to book with is undergoing renovations starting late this year, going through mid next year. The plan, the date we um, thought might work best is while renovations will be going on. If the, the, the guy that I talked to is hoping that they will start renovations with the ballrooms and the conference area if not, we're going to push the retreat back to after renovations are done. Um, primarily because for this, for 2020, and then it'll go end of April. The plan is to have it the last weekend of April until I die or decide not to plan a retreat anymore. I hate to break it to you. But if you kick the bucket before me, I might keep it going just in your uncalled large memorial. So. so. So you might be stuck with it in the afterlife lot dealing with it. There you go. <laughs> I have no other details other than that. Um, because we haven't figured it out yet. I started calling last week. This place is willing to bend over backwards to accommodate me and make me happy. And get my event in there. So if we have to change it to... Summer, fallish for 2020. Um, I'm going to, and then put it back in April for the remainder of time. Unless something comes up where that just doesn't work. You know, something with the hotel or whatever. But what I meant for by moving is, is I meant region, not a specific place in time. We're right. not going to go from one end of the country to the other to another country. That, I, I'm sorry. And I do apologize for those that live like in Arizona. But, um, I don't need the drama. There are retreats out there. You have to find them. Look, you will find them. I'm sorry. I just, we're going to do it close to home. No drama. We're no doing it convenient us. for us so that I can look at the hotel space. I can make sure that I can, you know, work with the event coordinator. And uh, here's one thing that I guarantee a lot of other ones that do the same hotel every year. You call up after a few years, and they go, do you want the usual? Well, most retreats stay in the same place year after year. And people like it when you stay in the and same place. And people like it. Including the people in the hotel, because it's like guaranteed revenue. Woohoo! Yeah, well, some places apparently didn't want guaranteed revenue. But that's all I'm saying. Sorry. We're planning a, planning a retreat this hard. We will have a boutique. Um, just one shop. This is basic. I mean, it's, it's a base. It's going to be a pretty, very, pretty basic retreat. It's going to be a sit and stitch retreat. You're going to come in, you're going to sit, you're going to stitch. We have one shop doing a boutique. Um, at this point, I'm not planning any classes. Maybe in the future, once I get the hang of things, I'll throw. This is our training little retreat. I'll throw a class on. Right? Um, this is kind of the training wheels thing. 
Can we figure out how the bike works before we sit there and try to go marathon? Because would classes be cool? Yes. Do we want to deal with that extra BS when we don't even know how to do a retreat yet? No. No. Um, so, we'll keep you posted on details. We will get you set up with how you can register when I get to that point. I've lost my mind. Hey, honey, you know that really cool camera thing I wanted to get for the computer? Mm. We could put virtual stitching up in the stitching hall. We could do virtual stitching. And if the room has a projector, we could project the monitor CBJ onto the wall. Might smack me for that one. <laughs> so that we can ta- get our own thing together. So that way people from around the world can talk with us while they're stitching mm-hmm. from all over the world. So that way we can have long distance stitchers. Basically, I got the idea from BlizzCon. Right. It's going to stay smallish in numbers. Um, oh, that isn't hard to do. That's fine. For infinity. It. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, a. Big means drama. Joe hates drama. Laura hates drama. We all hate drama. If you like drama... I'm the kind of drama. person, to that I want to be able to circulate and sort of see everybody and... Big overwhelms me, which is why the one retreat we've gone to, I don't move around much. Big overwhelms me. So. Me too. Especially when, and I, 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 I most people agree with me, there are not many male stitchers. There are not. Do you have any idea? All you ladies, imagine being in a room with 200 guys and you're one of three women. I do have some ideas circulating in my brain if we have a high demand of people who want to come and, you know, and a continual high demand of people who want to come and we're at the limit of people we can accept and... I got an idea about that too, but we need to get through the first one first before I But I need to get through the first one before I even think about that. We're probably when thinking I the same thing. Commented on Stitch Mania that I was thinking about throwing a retreat together in Northern Ohio. I had like fifty people who were like, "I'd be interested in showing up." So, if you want a retreat because you want to go to a cross stitch playland, no. If you want a retreat because you want to sit down with a bunch of other people who like to cross stitch and yip yap, and carry on and have a good time. Hi, welcome so, aboard. We will be hosting the Lakeshore Retreat. I will be hosting the Lakeshore Retreat coming up in 2020. And I will keep you posted with details. Probably going to get a hold of the hotel that we would like to host in this week. So I might even have some more details for you next week. I don't know. But I'm crazy. And if you don't hear anything about it for a couple of weeks, it's not because we don't want, we're not working on it. It's because nothing new has happened. Yeah. We'll post updates as we'll, we'll we'll go through updates as we get them. And in all honesty, that. from this forward video and onwards, if we have if you have a question and we haven't answered it, it's probably because we don't know. So if you ask it, you'll probably just get a we don't know, because with how me and her are, I'm pretty sure half this could be is going to be flying by the seat of our pants. I do have ideas in my head of things I want to do um, and things we can do. I have a group of gals that are helping me out with planning it. Um, yeah, you haven't asked me for much other than brainstorming. That's where we're all at at, the point, at this point. We're at the brainstorming point. Um, once I kind of get it solid down with dates and all of that, there may or may not be a meal served. It's going to be a lot of... i got to ask a lot of more questions when I talk to the guy from the hotel. But there it is. I'm planning a retreat. Why are you praying to the good Lord? Because pray without ceasing. That's it for this week. Um, the like, favorite show.
please like the video, share the video, comment on the video, subscribe to the channel if you are not a subscriber. It helps us pop up more in YouTube, YouTube's algorithms to have all of those things going on. YouTube's algorithms are evil. Jan Hicks yesterday posted an interesting video, I didn't get to watch it yesterday, about dealing with copyright claims on YouTube. It's getting stupid. I've, I actually I, know I, channel. You've told me some stories. His channel is called The Wayward Winchester. He does clips and stuff from Supernatural. Well, there's this thing called fair use. Where you're allowed to show a certain amount of a clip. Yeah, you're you're allowed to show a little bit of a clip from a show if as long as you can't as long as you're as long as you what you have does not conform makes like I think it's a certain percentage of the show. Yeah, as long if as the it's cat were to walk across the remote control, unmute the TV, and you heard part of the baseball game before I could get the mute the the, the TV remuted. It's it's not going to get us in trouble. As long as we person. say what it is. As long as we're like, oops, baseball game. And then we game. have to put the fair use thing. But this one group that is not owned by the company that owns Supernatural, they have nothing to do with Warner Brothers, have copyrighted dozens of his videos. And if he keeps, and when you challenge it, and they, and they, they fight it, if you go take it too far, you get a strike. You get three strikes... They turn your channel, they delete your channel. It is set up, and, what, and if you copyright strike somebody, you get half the revenue from the ads. So these people are basically saying this guy is posting stuff that's copyrighted, and they're claiming half of the revenues, and they you don't, don't even have anything to do with the copyright holder. Yep. And it has been going on for years. I've been watching YouTube with video games for an extremely long time. Like one YouTuber, his name is Techie101. He does anime, he, he does manga home. reviews. You know, like back when Bleach was a thing. Yes. And there was this one enemy who was basically love. That was his thing. Love. He made you love him so much you would kill your best friend for him. Bad guy. And he put the title as, Can You Feel the Love Tonight? Somebody, not Disney, but that says they're with Disney, copyrighted his video for the title. Disney tends to be kind of hard to on their copywriting. But it wasn't even Disney. So anyways... YouTube... That's why if you look for a video, music video on YouTube, and it's not the actual artist, but it's like a lyrics video or somebody has used the music to make a slideshow video, they put, I don't own the rights to this music, blah, 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 and most of those channels won't have ads on them because they're not allowed to. But anyways, I don't even know how we ended up on this bunny hill. You said something about helping with the YouTube algorithms and how the copyrights bullcrap. And then I took that bunny hill and made it into a mountain. I don't know. Because this has been driving me nuts for years. Anyway. Let's cry. Bye! Okay, well. Stalk me on social media. We'll see you next week. Bye, guys! Bye-bye!